Welcome back to Ozarks Boxing. and we are so happy to see our friend and birthday boy, Nathan McCartney. I saw that. Happy birthday. <laughs> thank you. Thank First you. of all, your wife sent me a private message. Oh, no. Letting me know it was your birthday today. We have to say happy birthday. Yes, oh, I appreciate that. Thank yes, you. happy birthday. And we're glad you're on our show on our birthday. Yeah, yes. I'm excited. And always we love here. Arctic Great. food equipment. And you always bring something fun. Yeah. And, and show us. What do you got today? So today we're uh, talking about knives. Uh, of course, I'm not an actual trained chef. I'm just wearing one of our jackets that we carry. So uh, forgive me. I've, I've already cut my fingers. <laughs> These so, knives are good. They're very yeah. sharp. They are very, very sharp. Careful. Very sharp. And as yes. you can see, I've got I've got a blue bandage on, which is something that restaurants and people like to use, so you can't lose it in your food, right? Oh, so that's right. why, that's one of those things that you just don't necessarily think about. But yeah. anyway, so that. be very careful with the knives. Uh, we've got we've got a really really great set. These are mostly uh, Mercer products, which are which are a really high quality uh, commercial knife. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of talk about some of them. So you've got you've got a standard chef's knife here. Um, which is which is pretty utilitary. Uh, you can use it on just about anything. You'll right. see, you know, you can chop cucumbers and onions, and we'll do a little bit of that in a second. Um, you've got a utility knife. Obviously, you've got this big butcher knife, which kind of scares me a little bit. Me too. Yeah, again, a trench right knows what he's doing. So we go. You, you can use this, obviously, to take meat off a bone and, and also mm -hmm. actually to, like, cut roots. You know, if you've got ginger or something oh, really oh, thick and really hard, that's when you use something big like that. Uh, serrated utility knives. And then, of course, this is a carving knife. A lot of times we'll see those in Thanksgiving with, like, the electric, uh -huh. but mm -hmm. um, this is actually that that it just doesn't have the electric function you have to know what you're doing and i love how those are placed like yeah and this is this is magnetic uh i think it makes a really cool display whether it's in a, a commercial kitchen or in your house uh -huh. kitchen it's a really pretty nice wood um and, and it just you know kind of makes it easy to display really safe does. their name the, you know the blades are down the yeah. handles are up. right yeah <laughs> so could you yeah. offer that uh, cutting board slash knife holder at Arctic? yeah yeah again i mean like usual i've pulled everything out of here the, the cucumbers and, and peppers are actually for my garden but everything else <laughs> <laughs> is is a uh, you know basically stuff we carry. Uh, of course, you've got the knife sharpener, which is important. So anytime that you're going to start using a knife, you do want to go ahead and make sure it's sharp. The sharper, the, the better. Actually, a dull knife is is more dangerous. Uh, and then we've got some other kind of neat things. We've got uh, these are actually herb shears, so uh, you can use them. Like this is a little bit of cilantro. Uh, let's say you're trying to make. Um, you know, a nice salsa or something mm -hmm. like that, which we, we like to do around here. Uh, you basically just use these and they, they cut <gasps> nice. Uh, I've never seen any like that. They cut nice and easy. You get a nice even cut. Of course, you can keep going if you want to make it finer. That's awesome. Um, yeah, they're just kind of a neat little product. Neat, I need neat those in my got. life. So, I do too. Um, so, yeah, so we've got herb shears and then this is kind of a neat knife as well. This is, a, I've heard this called an Ala Alaskan knife. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you use that to, uh, I've got some, got some pecans down here. Oh. <laughs> and you can use that to uh, to kind of like dice up, crush. Uh, you know, oh, you, wow. you've got a bowl and you can okay. kind of roll it, that kind of thing. Yeah, like it. it doesn't make very good TV in the bowl, but uh, <laughs> roll it. That's yeah. Great. So it's I love that. so that's that's some of the other knife options we've got. Um, but then kind of getting down into which knives to choose. So this is this is a bread knife. Um, you'll see them serrated or not. Mm -hmm. um, it's got these grooves, which a lot of the knives will have. Um, the chef's knife will have these grooves that helps the, the juice to come off, the, the slices to come off evenly. It just makes for a cleaner cut. Um, not necessarily something important on bread, but uh, you know, for, for tomatoes or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you cut the heel oh, off. Wow. Just, I mean, just slices through. And this is, this is a really good um, example. You've got a really hard shell and then a soft inside. Right. So you don't want to you don't want to squish that bread, right? You right. need something yeah. that's that's going to cut that evenly and cut that correctly. So. You see that you see a smooth edge like this. A lot of times, it's it's geared specifically for cutting breads or cutting mm -hmm. something that's got a hard shell and then an inside. You'll maybe on a, a lemon or something like that. I got you. Um, you don't want to smash the bread. Right. Like you don't want to smash it, the bread. It's not as pretty that way. Right. So and just like good, just like your tomatoes too. So a lot of times, the knife will have a hard time with a with a tomato. Mm -hmm. um, let me move this bread out of the way. That bread looks amazing. Yeah, by the way. It is. It's yeah. so. You, you can uh, you can use this to kind of trim the edges off mm -hmm. if you want to just use it for a salad and then oh. make a make a dice. Yeah. Oh, um, that's nice. Yeah. And so again, knife safety here. I, I've I've learned with my fingers and YouTube. <laughs> uh, you basically you want to keep your fingers away from the edge of the knife and just kind of roll the veggie and the knife. See how the knife's staying down yeah. and your fingertips are yeah. your fingertips are away. Yeah. So you're you're using the them to protect yourself and not cut your fingertips right. off. You're using knuckles to do that. So you can kind of, you know, just trim the edges. Uh, of course you can you can use it and actually dice with this type of knife. This is this is a, just a really nice sharp knife. That <laughs> is it's cutting it good. Yeah. So there's that. Um, and then 
One of the other other things that people don't always know to use is, is a boning knife or fillet knife. Mm -hmm. um, and so this this knife is, is kind of flexible. See how it oh, see yeah. how it bends like that. That's basically so that you can get in there thin and okay. get a hold of the skin. And it won't break though. Oh, it's just flexible. Oh, right. Nice. So it, it cuts. It'll cut away the skin, and you get it down in there and see how you kind of turn it up. <gasps> That's uh, great. It'll it'll help you just peel peel the fish off Perfect. and it leaves, wow. leaves nothing but the skin down in there. And of course the trained chef's gonna be yeah. a whole lot better at that, but but this is the kind of knife that you would use to get that skin away uh, and, and have a nice that is yes, that's gorgeous. So this this is a very specific knife, but it, it's a it's a great product it's, to have in your kitchen if yeah, you, if you do is. fish or even chicken or something right. like that. That's right. So Nathan, these out. knives are they sold individually in a pack? Do you have different varieties that you? We can have all get? different varieties. A lot of these are individual, but we do have some really nice gift sets that come with you know the block or a nice stand or something like that, and has has a good variety to have the boning knife and the chef's knife and the bread knife and and the sharpener kind of all together. Um, we've also got bartender sets that have similar knives that are yeah. geared just for garnishes and that kind of thing. Make great gifts. Uh, yes. they're, they're perfect for Mother's Day or Father's I'm getting those scissors, so, I'm and, not kidding you. And you know, those are yeah. great. And, and this is a great gift because not everybody likes to go out and buy themselves knives. Yeah. I mean, really, but It's a thank great gift. You. And where are you located? Because yes. the okay. public can oh, yeah. come in and buy. The public it's not can just come in, yeah, commercial. we'd love to have you. We're at uh, 1501 South Enterprise, uh, kind of over there by Enterprise Lanes, just off of Sunshine. It's a great store, okay. Kale. I've been there yes. and I shopped there. I love it. Lots of stuff in there. And yes. happy birthday. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. I hope Thank we have you. a great day, don't we? <laughs> I okay. do. Thank it's going to be a good one. Coming up, we'll be playing a special Beatles edition of Got You Covered. We surely can get this yes. one. All right, Hopefully. we'll be back. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy